What's up guys, Sifty here, back with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Shusa DFX. Basically like thumbnails or just for your profile picture like this. This is actually my profile picture. Um, I might change it because I didn't mess up on the finger, but this, in this video, I'm not gonna mess up. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it yourselves. Um, and you'll need to be using three, two, three things actually. So Roblox Studio, then Blender, and last is Pixlr. I will put all these links in the description so you can download Blender, Roblox Studio, download, and um, Pixlr is just like a website, like pixlr.com, so you can do it for yourself, put it in right there, or you can just go to the link in the description. So yeah, let's just get right into it. The first thing you're gonna do is click on Roblox Studio, obviously. And once you're in Roblox Studio, you're gonna click Base Play. So there's two ways of doing this. Um, there is, so you're gonna click toolbox. Then you can either search AAWA, which will show a bunch of different Strucid skins. But the way I would like to do it is search Strucid guns. And then you have, and then it shows Strucid skins. And then if you just drag it on, it shows all like a bunch of Strucid skin that, that you can use. So yeah, also it also shows all the guns. So we're just gonna put the guns right there. It's, it's gonna load. But yeah, that's loading there, but um, yeah, so it have all the skins and you have the guns right there. So first we're gonna obviously choose a skin cause that's what you need most importantly. So, hmm. Um, w A Z to move and hold shift to go slower. I think I'm gonna choose Well first you have to choose your skin obviously. I'm gonna choose the bird collar. So what you're gonna do is stressed skins. You're gonna go down and you're gonna go to the um all the way to the bird the one that you want. Now I'm gonna hold it, scroll up and drag it to workspace. So I'm gonna get it and drag it over here so now that i have my skins i can just delete that and what i'm going to do is pull that over here so it's closer and i think i'm just gonna use it's just gonna be it's just gonna be like this basically pretty easy pretty simple so i'm just gonna choose the ak so you're gonna go to model and ak47 move to workspace then now you can delete this so now that you have the ak you 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 just wanna gonna wanna um, you know move it closer, and what? Ooh, what happened to her hands? Ooh, okay, yeah, just okay. We're just gonna get her again, cause I don't know what happened to her hand. It's not even there. Alright, I'm just gonna choose then the the wildfire fairy, I guess. Um, I don't know what happened there. Just yeah, drag it. Oops, what the what the heck? I, we're gonna get the wildfire fairy and just drag her. What the heck is happening, bro? Get the wildfire fairy, drag drag her all the way to workspace, then take her and drag her, you know, ne near your gun, and then then you can delete this. Once you have the um, AK-47 and the wildfire fairy, obviously you want to make it look like this. So what you're gonna do is take this gun um it's a little big so i'm gonna click over here scale and you also want to make sure that you have collisions and constraints off and just join surfaces and this is at zero degrees and zero studs you can pause the video and yeah so now i'm gonna when i'm on this i'm gonna click scale and then i'm gonna make it a little you know smaller because it looks a little big that looks that looks all right all right, so now what you're gonna do is take it. You're gonna click move. Actually, rotate first. You're gonna rotate it this way, so it's like you know straight, as straight as possible. But I mean, it can't be perfect. So and then you're gonna move it over here. So now that you have that like ready to go in your hands, you're gonna click Wildfire Fairy, and what you're gonna do is basically just move her hands. Again, you wanna make sure it's joint surfaces only, no collisions, no constraints, this won't work. And what you're gonna do is, um, so we're just gonna move her hands like, 
I'm gonna have to cut a lot of this out because it's gonna take a while to do this. Um, so what you're gonna do is get her left left hand. You're gonna hold control when you're clicking this. Hold control on your keyboard. Left hand, left lower arm, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Then you're gonna click um, rotate, and you're gonna rotate it upwards like this. Let's make it like that, so it's like you know sideways. Then you can move it. This, this is pretty simple. There's harder ones, but I'm just doing a pretty simple one. Just keep this video nice and simple. So, yeah, it's, it's looking like that. So, yeah, looking pretty nice. So, now you have your hand like that. Um, now, you um, it looks a little, like, weird. Right, that looks about right. It's a little messy, but no one will notice that. So, now, you have, now you're going to go to left hand rotate and you're gonna rotate it like this so it's like holding it and yeah that's basically it for one hand and now you're gonna take the other hand oh you also might want to move this hand like all right so hold control left hand left lower arm left upper arm and you might want to move it like to the side a little bit like because it's like a little like spread out All right, so now that's that, that's pretty good. Now you're gonna take the same thing for the right hand. Right hand and right lower arm. Just gonna rotate it like this, so it's like facing forward. Then all you have to do is just, you know, simply move it so it's like looking good. So it's like matching. So it's on the arm it's connected I don't know why but this one's a little oh, it's actually the same all right that looks nice now you're gonna go to right hands you're gonna rotate it so it's looking like this and yeah the this arm the, the right arm is a little lower so we're just gonna hold control and make it you know Move it a little lower down, um, a little lower, so it looks even. Now this part is where you get the AK. You move it up. Um, this is a this like, the final part for this like section where you're gonna be moving it um, into your into the hands. Now again, it might be a little too too small so you can again make it bigger um, with them um, scaling so now that's, that's that um, you might have to move the left hand and left lower arm more like oops more like up so see how this is like looking good shit it's in the finger you don't want that so that's looking pretty good so you want it to be on top of the hand like like uh, like laying on top of it Now the right hand is little rotated, so we're just gonna rotate it like that. And yeah, um, it looks pretty good. The thumb is a little weird, but you know, it's not. It can't always be perfect. But yeah, so that's that's it's basically done like that. So after you do this, you're just gonna um, hold Control, click on the AK, hold Control. Then you're gonna click on Wildfare. Then you're gonna right click on AK-47 or whatever is first. Then you're gonna click Export Selection. Then you're gonna go to Document. Make sure it's saved as an OBJ. Then file name is gonna be GFX. Um, you can make it as whatever you want. I'm gonna make this GFX um, tutorial. Tutorial. 
So yeah. And now that saves an OBJ, you can um exit out of this. So now this is where Blender comes in. You're gonna wanna go to Blender, open Blender. Um, Blender version 2.79, I'll put the link in the description, not the newest one. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to a file and you're gonna go to user preferences. Huh? Um, user preferences, inputs, then em emulate numpad. Then you're gonna go to cycles render. Then after you're done with that, you're gonna go to file, import, or import OBJ. Then you're gonna go to your file, which I named it as GFX tutorial. Make sure it's not MTL, it's OBJ. And you could double click it or just click click and then o o import OBJ. And then you're gonna have it, it's gonna be right there, right there. So yeah. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to HGTV 180p. You're gonna make sure that the frame rate is at 120 FPS. Um, you're also gonna want to, um, you're gonna make sure that it's transparent. And you're gonna go to this thing, this world thing, and you're gonna make it on um, ambient occlusion. After done with that, you're gonna click view, then you're gonna click camera, then you're gonna shift F to move, and hold shift to go forward. Then you're gonna try to find like a good angle, um, a good angle for it, you know, a good angle for it, for it to, um, you take a picture of it. So, I think that's good enough. So then I'm gonna, I'm gonna click, then I'm gonna click the camera, then I'm gonna click, scroll up and click render. So now it's gonna be rendering. Um, this is gonna take a, li a little bit, so I'm just gonna see you guys when it's done rendering. All right, so when it's done rendering, it's gonna look like this. Then you're gonna click image, save as image, and you can save it as whatever you want. I'm just gonna save it as GFX tutorial. And then you're gonna click save as image. So now that you're done with that, you're gonna go to pixlr.com, look in the description. You're gonna go to advanced Pixlr E. Um, you can use any version of Pixlr you want. Um, so now when you're in, you're gonna go to down, you're gonna go to documents, then you're gonna go to the GFX tutorial, um, GFX tutorial image, double click that, and now you're gonna have this, it should be like this if you did everything properly. So after it's like this, um, you can go to um, Phoenix Science Twitter for pictures. Um, I'm gonna go to layer, then add image, add image as layer, then I'm gonna go to my pictures, and yeah. After I find my picture, I'm gonna line it up in the corner, then I'm gonna just click Control R, and I'm gonna make it so it fits the whole entire screen. Like that. And this is the way the version that I do is a little complicated. Then you're gonna click on this thing in your, uh, the picture, you're gonna delete it, and just do the same exact thing, add images layer, then, do the same thing and yeah it should be like that you can move it around and I'm just gonna add a text and it's gonna be GFX tutorials tutorials um, the fonts I'm gonna make it Um, all right, I'm gonna make it like that. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit to the side. And I'm gonna make it, yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna move it a little bit to the side. Uh, I'm also gonna make a GFX tutorial. G, GFX 
sorry, bruh. VX tutorial, not tutorial. And yeah, it should look like that. It looks pretty nice. Um, now that you have that, you don't have to add text, and you can add a bunch of other stuff. So when you're done with it, you're just gonna go to file, save, and I'm gonna save it as GFX tutorial done. And yeah, all you have to do is click download, and it's gonna be downloading down there. And yeah, uh, double click that and see how it looks. It looks pretty sick, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's a finished product. Um, so yeah, everything that you will need will be linked, will be in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please like, subscribe, and yeah, peace. <laughs>